Good morning. It is High Five Tuesday. This is the Double Blessed Day, and uh, thank you for being on with me today. Uh, you know, yesterday we started talking about God's redemptive calendar. Now, this was God's idea. And uh, right today, the uh, second part we're going to be doing is cycles are God's ideas. A cycle is something that goes around and moves you to a destination. You have minutes that turn to hours, hours to days, days to weeks, weeks to month, month to years, and, and then the year begins again. And so, you know, it, it just keeps cycling to bring us to something else. There in in uh, Genesis 8.22, God said to uh, Noah, he said, let me find it here. As long as the earth remains, seed, time, and harvest, cold and heat, summer and winter, day and night, will never cease. As long as the earth remains, we are going to be in cycles and seed, time, and harvest. I always say seed, then time is a long word, and then harvest. And um, the sun and the moon have cycles. The sun and the moon have cycles. You know, first of all, there do doesn't you don't see any moon. That's before the new month begins. And then it waxes, it, it, it starts building bigger and bigger and bigger until you get to the middle of the Hebrew month. And then that's a full moon. And then it starts to wane, then it starts to go down again. But don't worry, it's going to come back again. It's going to wax and it's going to wane. And uh, so every Hebrew calendar is based on a lunar cycle. Lunar is is the um, the moon. Now, uh, the the, the Muslims have only lunar calendar. Uh, the Gregorian calendar, which we use to make appointments on our daily schedule, um, they, that is solar. But the Jewish, the Jewish calendar, the, the, it's, not God, it's God's calendar that, that God left the uh, Jewish people to take care of, to keep it, uh, to keep it in order. And because that's his timing. And what I like best is God has made a redemptive calendar to bring us back to him every single year. You know, because we, we seem to stray away. Now, um, the Feast of Trumpets begins a new year. And it begins by two witnesses spying out for the new moon arising. Then they tell a high priest. The high priest whispers in the ear of the chauffeur, chauffeur blower. And the trumpets begin to sound from Dan to Beersheba. Now that is in Bible times. Now we have Nassau that tells us when everything's going to begin. But the book of Judges is really interesting because it has a history of cycles. You know, if you ever had your, your, uh, your life, it seems like a cycle of just things that go wrong. Well, in the book of Judges, it, it is seven cycles of destruction because everyone did what was right in their own sight. Now that seems like uh, ex uh, understanding what is happening in our world today. First of all, people rebel against God, then God allows their enemies to oppose them. Now God does not just send them. God lifts his hands off the people and all of a sudden the enemies are, are free to come in and take what they will because the people have totally turned away from God. And sometimes what God has to do is lift his withholding hand and allow the enemy to come in so the people will come back to them. So then the people repent and turn back to God. God raises up a deliverer to save them from their enemies. And when the oppression is broken, they quickly rebel against God again. This happened seven times in uh, in the book of Judges. What holds us in, dis in destructive cycles? Now, each one of us has a dis destructive cycles. Um, you know, I'm a I'm a real procrastinator, and what what breaks me is when I have a deadline. You give me a deadline, I won't pro procrastinate anymore. That's one of my cycles. Is I can just do nothing. I can just. You know, and but here, what what holds us in the in destructive cycles? Number one, fear of the unknown, fear of the unknown. Uh, two, familiar friends and family. They can hold you in destructive cycles. Uh, your thinking, your poverty cycle is in your mind. 
if you go from poverty from poverty instead of from glory to glory, or you go from defeat to defeat instead of glory to glory, victory to victory, it's it begins in your mind. And the, the fourth thing is you refuse to repent. Now repent is just not crying. It is turning around and going the other way, going God's way. And uh, and there's no godly sorrow. There There's no godly sorrow that leads to repentance. You know, Joshua broke the Israelites out of the cycle of going around the mountain again. They kept going around the mountain and I'm just, well, I am totally out of time. They had never gone that way before, and what God asked them to do was beyond human reason. And so they kept going around the mountain for for uh, for 40 years. They just kept going in circles. You know, there's sevens, uh, seven times they went around Jericho before they they uh, they conquered it. And on the seventh day, seven priests blew seven trumpets, and the walls fell down. They broke that cycle. Amen. Talk about this to more tomorrow. Bye-bye.